So today I am um, on lunch break right now and I just got an email from Lois at work and she, um, this is something, oh, car rattling, that was driving me nuts. Anyway, I just got an email from Lois from work and she, um, I work at a perennial company and every once in a while she'll send out an email to everybody in the company and say, hey you guys, we have a wagon full of trial plants that you can come take home for free <laughs> so the only crappy thing about working from home is I'm not right there at the office to like go collect all these free plants so I last time she did it I was on vacation of course and um so this time she did it and there was Brunera on the uh wagon and I was like is there any bread or left I'll come up there at lunchtime and get it so she so gra graciously texted me and she's like how many do you want I'll set some aside for you so I'm going up to get it right now <laughs> Look at all the stuff I just got for free I got there and uh, she had set some things aside for me and then uh, there was still this huge giant flatbed wagon full of more plants and I was like all right I'll take some more <laughs> so I got some of this uh, Jack or no Queen of Hearts I think oh I got Jack Frost so I got some Jack Frost for now um, and then I got this is a Queen of Hearts and this is a proven winner one so that's really pretty. I don't have this one yet. Wait, I think I have one of these somewhere. I don't know which, no, I have, I think I have three of these. But anyway, so I got some of those and then I got some, let's see. Okay, this is Dulce Toffee Tart. It's like a really pretty orange one. Let's see, I got some, Carnival cinnamon stick. So, only one of those was left. And then I've been wanting this one so bad. Uh, this is called Big Top Caramel Apple. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? It's huge. And then these are the peach berry ice. I have I think just one of these that my mom got me. And then I have these. My mom got me one of these too. And this is a timeless treasure. These are really pretty, super small leaves and they're dark and veiny with this really dark pink compact bloom. So yeah, I got so many good things. Um, I, I'm like ecstatic right now. Like I want to get out there and just start planting, but I need to kind of take a second and think about it and figure out where I'm going to put them. Well, maybe next time you see me, we'll be planting some more heugera. I'm back. It's a couple days later and I'm standing in front of all these free plants. Yes, I said free plants. I am very blessed to work at a perennial company and we grow perennials for um, a box store in my area in Michigan. And a couple times a year, they have a cart of free plants that are like trial plants. And so um, these are just kind of usually like the upcoming plants for the next season or plants from, uh, you know, more recent seasons that they're just trialing. And then they put them on a cart for free for all of the employees. So the first time they did it this season, I was on vacation, but I got to, uh, kind of cash in on the, on the next cart. But anyway, um, I am gonna be planting some of these today. Um, I have a area over here in my gully garden um, and it's kind of in the view where my husband looks out the window. And here I'll so show you. My husband likes to sit in a chair that's like right there inside that window. He can see all this and he, loved how I put those two pots over there. I put those in the other day 
and he's like that looks really cool over there i'm like well it's just temporary you know i might move <laughs> i might move it um he's like do you think you could spice uh this corner up a little bit and i was like of course i can <laughs> so um i'm going to be working on this corner and uh I'm so excited because I got all this Hugo for free and it's just natural color with the, the leaves. So um, we're just going to kind of, I don't know, just place some things around, see what we like. The only thing is, I, I mean, I have left this area kind of blank only because this is an Empress Wu Hasta and it gets probably like four to five feet wide and, and tall I think like it gets it, it gets huge so my plan was for this to like fill this entire area so I mean I could put some heucara in here to kind of spice this area up a little bit um I just I'm gonna have to keep in the back of my mind that I might have to move it eventually which is fine I'm no stranger to moving and then I was thinking maybe I could like plug in a few in here. I got some hellebore right there that provide awesome winter and early, early spring interest uh, before these has to pop up. But I mean, it wouldn't hurt to throw a few heaker on here just for some cover color. And they don't get too big. They could kind of just like creep over the uh, side of the walkway here. So I was thinking about doing that. So maybe I'll add some in here. The only thing is I don't want to add any in here. I had some heucara in here and actually I had a couple more of those. That is a pumpkin spice heucarella actually I think. I had two more of them in here right there and right there and that's actually supposed to be like a super orange leaf. You can see when they just emerge they're really really orange but it doesn't get that much sun. Over here it's full on shade. So when it's in the full on shade, I have found that it doesn't, it kind of like fades to this color, which is still pretty, but it just, I don't know, it blends in with my hasta too much. So uh, if I do put anything here, it would just be like a darker hue girl. Like I've got the timeless treasure. That one can go in the full shade and it keeps its color. This is the timeless treasure. So that one might be cool to put there. So I'll probably throw some in there. I did get some more of this peach berry ice. This is a proven winner one. Uh, so I thought maybe I could, my mom gave me that one, but I thought maybe I could put a couple in there, a couple more of those. And then there's a couple spots right here I could throw some in. And then, oh, these obsidians are doing pretty good. I transplanted these the other day. I got them out of the full sun. There's four of them right here. These ones were like almost completely dead and I saved them and they're doing actually pretty good. That one has some new growth on it, which is awesome. Um, but when I planted it, this was the only leaf on it. <laughs> Uh, and I'm so proud of it. It's doing great. Uh, anyway, I was kind of sidetracked, but this area right here, this is what I call Raccoon Alley. I have a little fuzzy raccoon friend that loves to come hang out with me in my garden. <laughs> and for some reason, he loves to dig up these well, especially these, these are three uh, sweet tea heucarellas, and he loves to dig those up. I don't know what it is about those plants, but he just has a heyday digging them up. I don't know how many times I have replanted them in this spot, um, and they're, they're holding on for dear life. They haven't completely died yet, which I'm very surprised at, but I might throw a few more in here and just pack it out and then maybe he won't touch them i don't know i don't know if that makes any sense but i'm gonna try it so i'm gonna put some in there let's start with that all right let's see here i think i'm gonna grab two of these timeless treasure and so there's one and there's one
All right, I think that will look pretty in there. And then I do have more of these peach berry ices. I'm gonna grab some of those. Now this one uh, gets pretty much full shade, oh, just a little bit of sun at the end of the day. But you can see when it first comes out, it has this darker peachy red, reddish orange leaf. And then it kind of fades off to these more muted colors, kind of like that uh, pumpkin spice heucarella over there. And I don't, so I don't want to put this any more further into the shade because I just, I really want it to keep that bright color. So I think I might um, carry it around here because that will give it at least a little bit of sun. So let's grab maybe two more of those. So yeah, you can see these were out in the sun on the free cart for like a few days and grown in a greenhouse so they have much more color than the one i have because it gets a little bit more shade it will be pretty and then it will probably like i said end up turning more of that shade but that's okay it's still really pretty i think all right, let's grab something to put up there. And then we gotta spice up this corner down here for Nate. I just, I'm having a hard time figuring out what to do because I know that Empress Wu is gonna get massive. So I just had to look these varieties up because I don't have experience with them. Um, and then I found that one of them had a tag. But anyway, this is the uh, Toffee Tart and it's in the Dulce series of the Proven Winner Dulce series. And I really love how strong the leaves feel. Like if you feel this, I'm kind of like rubbing on it and it's not gonna rip apart. Whereas like on this peach berry ice one, I don't know, they just feel a little bit more brittle. But I don't know, these just feel like they're gonna take a beating a little bit better. So if the raccoon does decide to come in that area and kind of have a little heyday again, maybe, um, oh, are you kidding me? The mosquitoes are out already? <laughs> Okay. Okay, regroup. <laughs> I'm feeling like if the raccoon does come in here and he just kind of like scavenges about, maybe these will hold up a little bit better. I don't know. They just feel like more solid plants than that one. Um, or this one even. So I'm going to try these in there. But I also do love this color up there so I might plug a few of those into. This one is um, obviously bigger. I just looked this one up. It doesn't have a tag in it. This one's called Big Top Apple, Big Top Caramel Apple. And it said on the internet it gets like significantly bigger than the other uh, heucara in its um, family, which was the carnival. I think it was the carnival family. So I might throw a couple of those in there too. So let's go look and see what we can find. The blooms on this are super cool too. Fill this area up a little bit. I put three of the toffee tart in there and then two of the timeless treasure. And I'm hoping maybe that will kind of throw the raccoon off a little bit. I don't know. I'm just making this up. So down here, I have some dulce wild berry heucara and I don't have any more of those, but I have two more timeless treasures. So I'm thinking, and that's this one it's a little bit purple so I'm thinking that one might look good right there and right there and this one I don't mind putting in more shade because uh, it's darker and it doesn't have like a nice bright color to uphold uh, where else do I want to put that oh there's a that's okay I'll put, I'll put that right there that'll do yeah yeah, so that'll be pretty. All right, let's go see what we have left. You know what? It might be good to put this big top uh, caramel apple in there by my Empress Wu because it's big and it could probably hold its own for a while until that thing gets huge. Let's try it.
like that. I think it looks really pretty. And eventually, oops, and eventually when this Empress Wu gets its full massive size, which I mean, honestly, I would say that's about three feet already. So it's probably only gonna get, well, I don't know. The hosta in my yard seem to grow to their maturest size possible. So this thing, it could get bigger than four to five feet. But if that day comes, we'll just move the heucara out of the way if we need to. But until then, I think this will be really pretty. Let's just start with that for now. We've got quite a bit of plants to put in the ground and then we will kind of regroup and see if maybe I want to wait till another day to plant the rest. Um, I don't like to be rushed. I like to think about things because I am prone to moving things here and there. So if I can get the right spot in the first place, that's great. If not, no big deal. But I think let's get these ones planted first and then we'll go from there. <laughs> so, heucara like to be um, well watered but also in well drained soil and this soil is super wet and pretty thick so I'm hoping they do okay here. The ones I have here so far are doing fine, but we may have to keep an eye on them and move them <laughs> if they don't do so well here. We will see, you never know. They might just love it so much. This will look really pretty next to this Elijah Blue Fescue, too. If it survives. This stuff is just hit or miss with me. It seeds itself like crazy, but... I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't stick around for very long. But could be because of the soil over here. Super wet. I'm hoping this kind of 
throw a piece for you. Feels good. That going off. <laughs> Wait a minute. Which one was I digging up? <laughs> then he has a freak out and he just gets pissed off and he leaves. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? lost a few heucheras by not planting them deep enough. There we go. I love the bloom on this timeless treasure. It's just such a deep uh, pink and it's like super tight clusters. This one I'm going to put more like right here because usually this hellebore is standing up but I must have trampled on it, I guess. And this will be pretty because it'll kind of um, be tucked right in here under this Francis William pasta. I feel like I remember I tried digging around here before and there's lots of roots, so we'll see what happens. I 
little bit. This is a lot drier down here. To make sure I water these ones in for sure. The worms, worms in here. Awesome. planted. Well, I have everything planted and watered in. We'll take a little quick tour of what we did. So this is a section that the raccoon loves to dig up these sweet tea heucarella. I have three of them in there. He doesn't touch any of the other stuff in here. So I'm hoping now that I put in these two timeless treasures and three toffee tarts, maybe he will come in here and get like disoriented and not know what's going on <laughs> okay and then down here I really love these wild berry heucaras that I have in here and I don't have any more but I wanted to try to kind of carry that look down on this side of the path so I went ahead and put in two timeless treasures right here and I'm hoping that they hold their dark color which I think they will the darker heucara tend to hold their darker color in the shade a lot better than the colorful bright ones. Then over here we have two more timeless treasures and that one right there my mom gave me. I planted that a few weeks ago. I think that's called magma. 
And let's see over here. The sun's popping out, so it's hard to see. Right down here we have uh, cherry truffles. That's another one of my favorites. My mom gave me that one. I planted that a few weeks ago. What else did we plop in here? Oh yes, two of these peach berry ices. So I think that'll be pretty. There's like a drift of three of them. These ones have been in more sun, so they look a little bit more brighter. But I think that even if they turn that color, I'm going to love it. I was thinking about maybe putting a fourth one there, but I don't know. I kind of just like the drift of three. Once those turn that color, it'll look like it kind of flows a little bit better. And then once we get over here, the obsidian will take over. And yeah, we made our, our way around. And then down here, we went ahead and put this big top caramel apple. There's three of them in there. Kind of going right around this Empress Wu right here. And this is the second year for that Empress Wu. It was a quart size perennial when I planted it, just like a little square quart. And it, you know, I planted it last, yeah, last summer. I planted it last summer. So it was in here all last summer and then all this summer and it's already put on quite a bit of size. So we will have to watch them. And, you know, if this Empress Wu gets too big for the spot or kind of crowds into these heucra, then I might move them. Although it might be kind of pretty to just have them popping out from underneath. We'll see. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed me planting some different kind of color heucra just sporadically in my garden. and. Um, I love this gully garden down here because there's really no rhyme or reason to what I do down here. I just kind of throw things in a little like whimsically, I guess, if that's the word, whimsically. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. So yeah, this, this garden down here is just like super whimsical and there's really no rhyme or reason to what I do and that's what I love about it. All of the stuff around my house in my like landscape, I would call it, is, uh, has tons of thought to it so I like it to be super we're gonna as I'm talking I'm gonna walk up here and hope I want to try to get this butterfly because he's so pretty but anyway the stuff around my house is uh, a lot more thought out and um, I have specific reasons why I put things in different places I like it to look neat and tidy but down here it's just like a little wonderland of anything goes and I just love it <laughs> so um, oh, let's try to get that butterfly. He's so cute. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really, I, I don't just say that. Thank you. Uh, a lot of my movies have been super long lately, and that's a lot of time to sit and watch them. So, uh, I really appreciate you watching. I truly mean that. I, and I also hope that you have, um, just a really great day. Mm -hmm.